homecoming was happy for the Blair Oaks Falcons last Friday night, for the most part, as the Falcons took control of their game with the Hallsville Indians in less than 10 plays. After a long Hallsville drive that came up empty, the Falcons' third play from scrimmage went to the house. And that first down, backs pitch wide left. Here comes Brady. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Good night, Gracie. Touchdown! Falcons! Brady Bapkis, 53 yards, and the Falcons are on the scoreboard with 5.58 to go in the first quarter. Blair Oaks, 6, and Hallsville, nothing. Nobody touched Brady Bapkis from 53 yards out. Quick, unsuccessful Hallsville drive, and four plays later, the Falcons were back in the end zone. And the handoff, Lackman stops and starts, puts his way into the end zone for the touchdown, Falcons. Nice run by Hayden Lackman. Two men faced him down right in the backfield, made a nice cut to his right, and then spun and used his leg power to go into the end zone. And the Falcons are back on the scoreboard with 3.44 to go in the first quarter. Falcons lead it by the score of 13 to nothing as Hayden Lackman goes in from seven yards out. Even after a Hallsville scoring drive, the Falcons were ready for a Hallsville special which wasn't. Here's the onside kick. It's dribbled along. The Falcons will pick it up back at the 45-yard line. And here comes Engelbrecht. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. Hot ball to 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Falcons! 55 yards for the touchdown. So Jackson Engelbrecht with his third return kickoff for a touchdown this year. The Falcons have still only run seven plays and they're two touchdowns ahead. From that point on, the Falcons were never troubled by an unorthodox, overwhelmed opponent who resorted to stalling and physical assault late in the game. It may have cost a Falcon his season. The 56-12 final for Blair Oaks speaks for itself. It's doubtful there'll be any of those shenanigans tonight as the Falcons go for yet another conference championship against the Southern Boone Eagles. The Eagles are coming into the game off their most lopsided defeat of the season, 45-7 at School of the Osage last week. So it's a wounded animal that will face the Falcons tonight. Southern Boone is big, physical, and the offense rides the arm and powerful legs of their quarterback, Mason Shear. The Eagles have never beaten the Falcons, and Blair Oaks doesn't want to start a new trend now. I'm Dick Aldrich along with Ed Kniest, and we're live in Ashland on the final week of the regular season. It's Blair Oaks and Southern Boone on the Tobin's Towing Blair Oaks Falcons Game of the Week. When we come back, we'll have our pregame chat with Falcons head coach Ted LePage after this timeout on Midmo Sports Online. Uh, the Falcons have uh, never given up a uh, game to Southern Boone, having won 20 in a row. And as we get ready for high school football here, Southern Boone, of course, on their new field, or a new uh, AstroTurf field here at uh, Southern Boone High School. It is a great improvement over what was here previously. Uh, the press box is also a great improvement. However, they designed this press box without windows that open. So we, you will hear us uh, sounding uh, quite uh, like uh, uh, we're in a cave or an echo chamber, and that's because we have a window that doesn't open in front of us. The Falcons lost the toss. Southern Bruin wins. They elected to defer to the second half, so the Falcons will receive the ball, and they'll be going from right to left as we start this game here momentarily. The and uh, I wish the lady had put her pom-pom down in front of me. But anyway, so we're ready. They've got the ball set. Everybody's ready to go here. We're waiting for the signal from the head official. And here we go. The kicker comes forward to the ball. And with the call, it's the voice of the Falcons, Dick Aldridge. And Woodward once again will come to the ball and he kicks it high and deep. It's a rocket that is going to be fielded in the end zone and it is a touchback. Okay, so Blair Oaks will take over on their own 20. We'll see what happens tonight. As they're playing for the conference championship and also the number one seed in their district. Three receivers wide left. They move Dapkus in motion to the left. A swing pass to Dapkus. Down the sidelines he comes to the 20. Puts his head down. Runs over a man out across the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Falcons get an early touch for Brady Dapkus here in his return to Southern Boone High School. And uh, the tackle was made on the play by Jace Wren. 
And on second down, they move Lackman into the backfield as they hand off to Hayden. And Hayden finds his way up the middle, gets the first down, out across the 30 to about the 32-yard line, carrying bodies along the way as Hayden Lackman gets the first down for the Falcons. Give him a gain of five yards on the play. Because Brendan just kind of was even with the defender, and then he just kind of at the last minute just got a little burst and got a couple yards behind him. Backs on third and long. Nice out pattern here to Engelbrecht. He missed shot to tackle 50, 45, 30, 35, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Falcons. He did not step out here at midfield. I nope. thought he might have. I was waiting for the officials he to got blow, it, blow it down. But uh, Engelbrecht kept on going and scored the touchdown. And that was from 65 yards. They had him marked at the 35, it looked like. Mm -hmm. So Jackson Engelbrecht gets the fireworks. We had fireworks after the National Anthem, which were kind of neat. And now the Falcons have started their own fireworks here early in the game. So Laughlin on to attempt the extra point for the Falcons. The Falcons on their first drive were only 10 minutes and 36 seconds to go in the first quarter. So less than two minutes in, the Falcons are on the scoreboard. Snap back ball down. The kick is up. It's high. It's long. And it is good. 10 minutes, 36 seconds to go. First quarter, Blair 07, Southern Moon, nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We will return to action here in Ashland at Southern Boone High School after this timeout. You're watching Blair Oaks Falcons football. The Tobin's Towing Game of the Week. <laughs> Shear with Crane behind him on second down. They hand off to Crane. He dives into the pile and he's stacked up right in the middle of the line. The Falcons are all over him. They don't blow the whistles really right away and they give Crane a gain of a couple of yards on the play. As the Falcons stacked him up right in the middle of the line, it was Lubering, among others, there on the tackle for the Falcons and give Crane a gain of two yards on the play. Definitely two down territory here on a third and long. Shear with Crane to his right. Here's the reverse trying to come around the left side. Muscle and the ball, ball again. Lost again, and I think the Falcons got it they this did. time. They handed it off to Travers Hunold, and right on top of him was Bryson Varner, and well, Bryson the shook it loose. Well, the umpire is in there. He's trying to see what's what, but the Falcons are running off the field. Falcons have gotten it. The Falcons got it back. So Travers Hunold with the fumble after about a five-yard loss, and the Falcons get it back. Like what we like to call the extracurricular stuff that happens sometimes in a pileup. So uh, so right there, Tyler backs through an eight-yard out to Engelbrecht. And it's now second down and a long two for the Falcons. From the 38-yard line, Bax moves Lackman back into the backfield with him as uh, Bax hands off, and Lackman dives up the middle, keeps his feet, and moves forward, and has got the first down inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. Four receivers to the right. Bax rolls that way. Bax looking, and now here comes the rush. Uh, Tyler's going to step up. He breaks a tackle inside the 30, dives forward to about the 25-yard line, and gets a gain of about eight yards. Well, he wanted to throw the ball, but there was nobody open, so Tyler cut it back up and was able to escape. Second down and two for the Falcons. Three receivers wide to the left side, tandem receivers wide to the right from the far hash mark at the 25-yard line. Bax takes the snap, looks right, quickly throws it out there to the right, and that was a nice catch made over there at the 20-yard line, and I think that was uh, Jet Kerwitt with the catch. I think it was. Oh, it was uh, number four, and that, of course, is uh, Vander. Vander Halford. He's up. They've got him in the golf cart, and here come all the Falcons out to, to wish their teammate well as he'll be taken off, and we don't expect to see him back tonight. No, that's for sure. But... The Falcons still have, uh, they have some younger running backs, but they have shown in times this year that they are also pretty uh, worthy of, of carrying the, the football for the Falcons. And they have wings to either side. There's a first down and goal for the Falcons from the three-yard line. And they move Dapkus over to the left side as Bax looks to the left, throws to Dapkus, and Brady's going to go into the end zone for the touchdown, Falcons. 3.25 to go in the first quarter, and the Blair Oaks Falcons are back on the scoreboard. It's Blair Oaks 13 and school and uh, Southern Boone nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. Brady Dapkus with the pass and touchdown from three yards out. And, well, you know, you're, it's glad that you see that by the Falcons. They respond right away with a touchdown because uh, losing your leader 
one of your leaders like that, that can really drag a team down as Laughlin kicks through the extra point. We'll talk more about that when we come back. 3.25 to go in the first quarter. The Blair Oaks Falcons leading Southern Boone by the score of 14 to nothing. And you're watching Blair Oaks Falcons football on midmostsportsonline.com. And uh, we, you know, send our prayers out and our hopes for Hayden uh, tonight as the handoff goes to the freshman running back and he's cut down immediately in the backfield. Walker Crane goes for a one-yard loss that time as the middle of the Falcons defense was right there to knock him off his feet. Well, in a couple of weeks for, for the first district game for the Falcons or if that maybe for the week after that. Mason Shear was run down from behind as he tried to roll out to his left uh, by the Falcons' pass rush. Was, uh, once again, it was uh, Bryson Varner chasing him through the backfield, and Bryson finally caught him and got some help over there on the tackle by uh, Zane West. Third and 12 from their own 37 for the Eagles. Falcons need a big stop here, get the ball back, and go down and try and get more points. Shearer back to pass on third long. Here comes a jailbreak, and the Falcons are all over him, and they knock him down. They get him down back at the 31-yard line. And uh, it looked like it was uh, Luckett, Aiden Luckett there on the tackle the, uh, for the Falcons. Sure was able to avoid the first, first wave, but uh, when he stepped up, that's when Luckett came in and... Carson Versloys, the sophomore running back. He is a 5 foot 10, 165 pounder. Had a big night over at California several weeks ago. This is uh, really the first action he's seen with the first team since that night. And uh, we will uh, go to the second quarter. First quarter in the books here at Southern Boone with the Blair Oaks Falcons leading the Eagles by the score of 14 to nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Ashland after this timeout. You're watching Blair Oaks Falcons football on MidmostSportsOnline.com as Hulford takes a high snap and gets it away. It is a bomb of a kick. It is high and it is deep and it goes out of bounds inside the 15-yard line over to about the 14 or 13. We'll see where the official will mark it up. And they say the 14-yard line. Nice kick by Vander Halford. And on third and about four, Shear back to pass. Here comes a rush, and down he goes! Run down from behind. Coming through on the tackle for the Falcons from the left side, and that was Lucanati. The outside linebacker, Hank Lucanati, on the tackle for the Falcons, and a big okay. loss on the play. Have Engelbrecht over in the receiver's position to the left. Four receivers to the right. As Bax takes the pass, swings it out to the left side, has Engelbrecht, and he's spun around and brought down out across the 40 at the 43-yard line. Give him a gain of six yards, and we'll bring up now a second down and four. Jackson's third catch of the night. Third down and five now for the Falcons from their own 42-yard line. As Bax takes the ball, rolls to his right, looking, 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 now throws down the sidelines, has a man, Dapkus with a, with a juggling catch. He's brought it in at the 41-yard line. It's going to be enough for the first down. Down. Boy, I was a little worried there for a minute when he juggled that ball. Yep. That was, <laughs> my throat went up. Carson Versloys in the backfield. Swing pass left side. Dapkus. Dapkus cuts inside to the 35. Now surges forward to the 34. Give him a gain of seven yards. And bring up a second down and short now for the Falcons. And the punt rolls backwards across the 50-yard line back into Southern Boone territory at the 47-yard line. <laughs> The game has turned into a defensive struggle right now, a game of field position. Hayden Lackman lost uh, since uh, Hayden left, uh, Lackman left the ball game. Backs on first down, runs it over the right side. There goes Tyler, who's got the first down inside the 40, keeps his feet inside the 35, and runs over a couple of players down to the 32-yard line. That's what we need. Gain of 15 yards. Yeah, he's going to get the carries that Hayden did, I believe. Yeah, they may run it. They may run Versloys or Dapkis or somebody else every once in a while just, you know, so they don't get Tyler beat up. But it's going to basically be Tyler Bax and then throwing it to Dapkis, I think. Bax quickly down the far sidelines. Has Engelbrecht there. Touchdown, Falcons. <laughs> Jackson Engelbrecht with a leaping over-the-head catch. And Tyler Bax on target from 31 yards out. And the Falcons are back on the scoreboard with 4.20 to go in the second quarter. Blair Oaks 20 and Southern Boone nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. Well, last week Jackson Engelbrook was voted homecoming king. Tonight he's the touchdown king for his second of the night. So here's Laughlin now to attempt the extra point. 
Out of the hold of Engelbrecht. And the snap comes back. Ball down. The kick is up. It's high. It's long. And it is good. 4.20 to go. Second quarter. Blair Oaks 21. Southern Boone nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. You're watching the Blair Oaks Falcons game of the week. Brought to you by Tobin's Towing. And we'll be back in Ashland after this. I think the idea is they want to try and get Shearer a little bit off his game. Get him a little uh, uncomfortable. Get the happy feet going. And look and out. Look out. Here comes the rush. Where Shearer runs out of it. Throws it deep down the field. The pass is going to be incomplete. Diving attempt out at about the 40-yard line of Blair Oaks. And it's incomplete. And that was a fourth down play. So the Falcons will get the ball back at the Southern Boone 39-yard line. 14 to nothing Falcons on first down, backs back to pass. Now he's going to run out to his right, has acres of yards out there, 35, 30, 25, and pushed out of bounds inside the 25 at about the 20-yard 20, 20 line. They'll mark him out right at the 20-yard line, so give him a 19-yard run. Clock stop with 3.51 to go. First down and 10, backs oh, back look to at pass. That. Has a man wide open down the middle. This is going to be a touchdown, Falcons. Jackson Engelbrecht coming across the middle that time. Caught the pass and goes into the end zone. And the Falcons are back on the scoreboard with 3.45 to go. In the second quarter, the Blair Oaks Falcons now leading the Southern Boone Eagles by the score of 27 to nothing. 20-yard touchdown pass from Bax to Engelbrecht. Engelbrecht down to hold for Laughlin. Snap back, ball down. The kick is up. A tie, it's long, and it is good. 3.45 to go, second quarter. Blair Oaks 28. Southern Boone nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We will return to Ashland and Southern Boone High School after this timeout. You're watching Blair Oaks Falcons football on MidmostSportsOnline.com. Second and three as Shear takes the snap and hands off to Crane. And Crane pushes the pile, but not very far. I don't know if he got uh, much there. Maybe a gain of a yard on the play. Yeah, that's for about Walker other. Crane. They're all. They're going to move it up to move the ball up to the 38. So uh, with 3:15 to go here, it's going to be a third and three. Sets up a big fourth down, and if the Falcons could stop them here with 2:40 to go, take the ball over and. Southern Boone territory once again, maybe go down and get that fifth touchdown before the end of the half. Shear checking off the line of scrimmage, wants to pass on third and short. He's running out to his left. Oh, he's put it right and The Falcons get him in the backfield, and we're finishing him off with Bryson Varner in the backfield. The Falcons were nipping at his heels the whole way, and Shear is down. Shear is not getting up after that tackle by the All-State defensive end, Bryson Varner, six foot four, 235 pounds. On first down from the 19 of the Falcons, Shear rolling to his right. Sets throws deep into the end zone. The pass can be incomplete. Thrown out of bounds. The Falcons, that was a big break for the Falcons. If they can get out of this, if they can hold Southern Boone here and get out of the uh, half with a 28 to nothing lead, Travis Hummel is in the backfield. He now moves into the wing on the left. Now comes back into the backfield, and they hand off to Travers. He wants to throw. Has a man wide open, and this ball is going to be incomplete. A great play made on the uh, coverage down there. Warren Davis caught up with the receiver, and it got the receiver into the receiver's uh, hands and was able to knock it out of his hands. As it Buck is stopped with 26.4 seconds. A sack would be nice about here now. As Shear goes back to pass again, here comes the rush again. He runs out to his right. He's got all kinds of room if he wants to run it, and he's going to get hit and drilled down by Jay Schwinnard over there after he gains a couple of yards inside the 35 down to the 33. They still may send somebody on the blitz. No, they back off. And here comes the rush anyways. Shear rolls to his left and throws deep down the middle. The pass is incomplete in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Jace Troth, down at about the 10-yard uh, line. Would not have been enough for the first down even had he caught it, and the pass falls incomplete. That second down, it only took about uh, 3.2 seconds off. You can and try something again. Similar. Back to the same pass out there to Rackers. He's down the sidelines. He's inside Southern Boone territory. And he Let's gets out of, bounds. out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And he was able to dance out of bounds. So we've gone to halftime here at Ashland Southern Boone High School with the Blair Oaks Falcons leading the Southern Boone Eagles by the score of a 28 to nothing. You're watching Blair Oaks Falcons football on MidmostSportsOnline.com. 
We're brought to you by Tobin's Towing, and we'll be back with a look at the scoring in the first half here at halftime. After this timeout on MidmostSportsOnline.com. Here is Ed Kinney, Edward. Thank you, Dick. For the Southern Boone Eagles, they had only five first downs in that first half. And I think three of them came on penalties on one drive. Six out of 14 passing total for the Eagles for 88 yards. No touchdowns, no interceptions, three sacks. Running the football, well, the Falcons have done what they've done all season, and they, shut, they have shut down the Southern Moon Eagles running attack. So they have, so far tonight, the Eagles, 19 rushing attempts, negative eight yards total rushing. That's a negative 0.4 yard per carry average, no touchdowns, negative eight on the ground, 88 through the air. That's a total of 80 yards in that first half for the Southern Boone Eagles. Turn to the Falcons, they have 10 first downs. Tyler Backs, 11 out of 17 passing, 189 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He was sacked twice, a 64.7% completion rate. Jackson Engelbrecht has caught five passes for 130 yards, an average of 26 yards to catch. He has three touchdowns with the longest of 65, which was a touchdown. For the Falcons tonight, four touchdowns, receiving three by Engelbrecht, one by Dapkus, and Engelbrecht with a 65-yarder, the longest catch of the night. 83 on the ground and 189 in the air. That's 272 yards of total offense for the Blair Oaks Falcons in that first half. Laughlin kicks off, and this uh, Chemnick Collision Repair kickoff it is down the field, and it's picked up by Southern Boone. The man is running back across the field. He's to the 25-30, picked up ahead of speed, got out across the 30 to the 33-yard line before he was yanked down, and he was pulled off his feet by the Falcons, number 20, and that is Jackson Whiter. The freshman made a nice tackle there. The quarterback Shear is there on the far hash mark going from right to left here in the third quarter of play. Falcon showing a blitz. Shear with a man to his left takes the snap. Goes back to pass. Here comes the jailbreak. They throw it underneath. And oh, a nice hit made in the open field. A beautiful open field tackle made by Hank Lucanati on Travers Hunold, who caught the short pass from Shear, who had two men right in his face. And it's only a two-yard completion. Three receivers in a bunch to the left side, which is the short side of the field. They move on over to the right side of the quarterback, Shear, who takes the snap and goes back to pass on first and ten. Being forced out of the pocket around the right side. Falcons chase him, and Jay Schwerner got him down for a loss. Give him a sack back at the original line of scrimmage back at the 47-yard line. Jay Schwerner chasing Shear, got him by the shoe tops and dropped him. Yeah. Once again, that was Lubrin coming through on the blitz, on the uh, pressure for the Falcons. Falcons in the three-man line now. As Shear goes back to pass on third and long, he's being forced out of the pocket again. Runs to the oh, right side. A there was a back. clip in the outside on the outside. The Shear lost, lost the football, and the Falcons, I think, say they've got it over at the 40-yard yeah, line. Yeah. Well, if they do, then forget about the clip, and I think Shear is still down. Yep, oh, Shear down, down once again. He's been down several times tonight, and this may be the knockout blow. I don't know. Well, Shear. He, he's gotten hit a few times and he's been driven into the ground and it is a F Falcon uh, recovery. Brendan Rackers in the slot. They move her slice into the backfield and Carson gets it on first down. He has good running room this time and pushes the pile out to about the 45 yard line. Well, when we saw Carson for slice, I guess the first time we really saw him run was against California a few weeks ago. And if I remember correctly, his first couple of times when he was okay after that, he had some nice runs. On second down, they hand to Toby Edler and Tedler's around the left side. He's got the first down and more inside Southern Boone territory, but a penalty flag comes in from the referee and the white hat says, Hold against the Falcons. They don't have to try and get it all back on this play. If they could get about 10 yards, they'd have a good shot at getting a fourth down. Hallford throws back to his left. Has Horses a man in work. space for Sloist on the sidelines. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25. As he's out of bounds inside the 30. <laughs> Didn't quite get to the 25. He stepped out at the 29-yard line. He caught that ball over there on the far side, and he turned it up, and he looked like any verse, anybody named Versloist who ever ran for the Falcons. Hallford. Looks to the sidelines. 
As we have uh, three receivers out wide to the right side, Halford looking to the left sidelines again, throws it underneath, has a man, angle break, breaks a tackle inside the 15, and he is knocked out of bounds. Let's see where they spot got him. to the 10. 19 yards on the carry, on the reception. So on third down and goal from about the 12 yard line, Halford takes the snap, sets, then throws into the end zone. Now he throws it short, and Rackers has the completion down at about the six yard line. He'll pick up a gain of seven on the play, but it'll bring up a fourth down now. Yeah. Much. And on the first down, they swing a pass out here quickly to the left side and uh, getting back to the line of scrimmage before he is stopped. And uh, that is uh, Walker Crane on the catch, another freshman. And uh, no gain on the play. They don't have anybody back. Oh, high, snap. high snap, and Shear gets it down. It, it blocked. It was partially it was blocked. blocked. And getting in there to block, and the ball rolls out of bounds. And it was Zane West on the block for the Falcons. Very high snap away, but uh, Zane West was standing there waiting for him. And Vander Hulford, the sophomore, out still at quarterback. Moves for Slice into the backfield with him. Hands off for Slice around the left side. Carson trying to dance outside. Now cuts it up. He's got oh. the first down and more. Down the sidelines, and he is going into the end zone. But uh, where the were they they're, saying he, they're saying he stepped out around the 15. 15 yard line. 17 yard gain by Verslois, but the Falcons are doing a good job over there on that corner. Second and 10. Second and 10 with 5 10 to go here in the third quarter. It's not been the prettiest third quarter, but the Falcons are holding serve right now. On second down, three receivers out wide to the right side. As Halford wants to throw again, another slam pattern. That's down, Falcons! And that and time, Engelbrecht. And that time, Engelbrecht made sure he got away from the defender. They didn't grab him that time, and he goes into the end zone for the touchdown. From 15 yards out for his fourth touchdown catch of the night. And the running clock shall commence as soon as Mr. Laughlin has the extra point. As I said, he was the homecoming king last week. He's a touchdown king tonight. Snap is back. The ball is down. Laughlin lines it through, and we are at the 35-point threshold. 5.07 to play third quarter. Blair Oaks 35, Southern Boone nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. Shears back in there at quarterback, and uh, they hand off to the running back who comes hurtling back out of there, Travis Hunold with the Blair Oaks Falcon, uh, Carson Lubring on top of him. I mean, they have not blocked Carson all night long. Pass plays, run plays, whatever it is, Carson has been in the backfield all night long for the Falcons. Shearer, the quarterback, has three receivers to the right, two to the left. And now he moves Hunnelt over to the left side, throws it quickly to the right. Oh, oh nearly intercepted as it was Nilgis who jumped the route. They were trying to hit... Uh, Eli uh, Piper underneath at about the 13-yard line. And Nil just jumped the route, he had it in his hands, but wasn't able to hang on to it. Now they look to the sidelines, change the play. Play clock goes under 10. Game clock at 143 with the running clock. Shear steps back to pass, throws it to the outside quickly, and the man is swung down as uh, he was short of the line of scrimmage and uh, making the tackle for the Falcons. Looked like that was Neil, no, that was uh, Shea Linhart on the tackle. So the Falcons will take over, first down and 10 from the Southern Boone 48-yard line. That ends the third quarter. Third quarter at the end here in Ashland. The Blair Oaks Falcons leading the Southern Boone Eagles by the score of 35 to nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. That's a good ball club. And on third and long, Shear rolling to his right to throw. Has a man out in space. And this is going to be a first down out across the 30 to the 32-yard line as uh, Travers Hunold got out there and made the catch. He was pulled down late by Jackson Sneller. So with four seconds on the play clock, Shear takes the snap on second down and long. Here comes the rush, and he gets rid of it. The pass is intercepted. Going back down the sidelines. This is going to be a touchdown. Falcons. Sounds about 53 yards. Looks like that was Nilgis on the interception for the Falcons. Austin Nilgis, the pass was overthrown as uh, Shearer was wiped out again in the backfield. And that's about a 55-yard interception return. Yeah, he caught it right about the first down stick, so I, I got it at 53. Nilgis for the touchdown. With five minutes to go, the clock has run. The Falcons lead it now 41 to nothing. Laughlin on to attempt the extra point. Out of the hold of Engelbrecht, trying for his sixth Extra point of the night. 
snap is back. The ball is down. The kick is up. It's high. It's long, and it is good. 4.28 to go in the ballgame. Blair Oaks 42, Southern Boone nothing on MidmoSportsOnline.com. We will return to Ashland and Southern Boone High School after this timeout. You're watching Blair Oaks Falcons football brought to you by Tobin's Towing. As this should probably wrap things up with the running clock, this possession for Southern Boone as Shear goes back to pass, and the pass was complete out across the 40-yard line as Jay Schwinnard in there on the tackle of Hudson Talley, and a gain of four yards on the play. Second down and a long four now for Southern Boone as they pitch it wide left, and Hunnell turns up the field, and he's going to be close to the first down, but he's short, I believe, so he gets it out to about the 45 five-yard line. Give him a gain of four yards. And it'll bring up now a third down and about one. And the Mexico Bulldogs, they're hosting the uh the My Kids Rams, that's Mary Institute Country Day School. Clock continues to run. We're at minute 17 to play in the ball game from the 47-yard line of Blair Oaks. They move Jace Wren in motion back across the formation. Now he stops, goes back out to the right, and he's going to catch it. He got caught. <laughs> Warren Davis planted him at the 49-yard line. He lost a yard on the play. Tried that little uh, stop-and-go move where they brought him in towards the line, then uh, send him back out to the sidelines. And Warren Davis... Caught him while he was in midair and bounced him off the turf. And the clock is running down under 10 seconds, and Southern Boone is not going to run another play. And we are finished uh, with uh, this uh, evening. Falcons are going to win 42 to nothing. A little bit hollow uh, with the uh, with the injuries that occurred here tonight, but uh, the Falcons uh, will go away winners tonight. They have won another conference championship, and they will be the first place team in the district come tomorrow morning, and they will get the week off next week as the number one seed in the district tournament in class three and district four. So the Blair Oaks Falcons win it here tonight on senior night in Southern Boone as they defeat the Eagles by the score of 42 to nothing. Falcons move on to eight and one on the regular season. When we come back, we will take a look at the scoring summary from tonight's ball game and wrap things up from Southern Boone. After this timeout on MidmoSportsOnline.com, we'll return after this timeout. You're watching Blair Oaks Falcons football.